Hello, Remo. Hello, hello, everyone inside. I'm here with Cara, and we're outside of the TEDx Forum, which is uh, like a Roman forum in that there's, you know, there's lots of discussion, we watch great speeches, and then at the end there's an orgy. So do feel free to join us out here. Anyone can come here. If you're watching the live web stream or if you're inside, you can come and join us out here. There are three types of people today. There are the weak, sensitive, in Bay 17. They're the instead. Out here, the beautiful, slightly more robust, and certainly ideas worth shivering for out here in the forum. And then uh, they're the outstead. And then, of course, we've got those at home streaming us. Hello, the homestead. Yes, the homestead. And if you are watching at home, it's one of the great things. That we got a lot more talks this afternoon about Twitter and various social networking. And I've already been following that the TEDx site occasionally is going down from the amount of people trying to watch this. Mm. And there's tweets if you go to TEDx, uh, te go to TEDx Sydney, and they show you other feeds that have TEDx there. So it's fantastic to see that Twitter is saving us here once again. If you have any questions, do send them in to us here and we can uh, ask the people that are coming up. Mm. This is actually an experiment. The reason we're doing this is to see whether the TEDx crowd are so clever that this is the first live cross without boneheads. And uh, so far, are we doing any Nothing. well? See, look at that. That's yeah. how clever they are out here. We've got a waving hand. That's pretty good. That's as much as you get. Coming up out here, we're going to be seeing uh, Jonathan Marshall, who you just spoke, saw us speak there. We've also got Rachel Boltzmann, who's about to come up, will be coming and talk to us. Uh, Greg Pickover and Brett Solomon will be out here for soon as well. So tweet your questions about those people. Pretty much the only person that's not coming out is Nigel Marsh, because he's got a good work-life balance thing going on. Yeah. So we said, would you want to come to an extra speech? He's like, no, I've got to spend time with my family. Oh, I thought he had to go and have sex. He's got to go and have sex, that's right. <laughs> That or can walk happen, his dog. He has a very lucky dog. dog. He knows when to say no, and that's what good work-life balance is. But uh, do join us out here, no matter where you are, and hopefully by the next time TED happens, this entire hall will be filled to the back mm. with uh, TEDx Forum people. And please make sure you come and ask us questions as well. We're happy to ask questions. If you don't want to ask speakers a question, we can make them up for you. But uh, when they come out, just approach me and we'll give you the microphone. Yes, Carol, we'll take your questions and we'll ask them. So this is, gets a bit more interaction into the day because there are a lot of fantastic ideas that have been asked there. But we need to question them and make sure these ideas stand up to a rigorous questioning. Some of them, I think they're a bit flimsy. We should, we should take them down. Which So join us out here in the TEDx Forum just outside the main bay, down at the Carriage Works, no matter where you are. Back to you, Remo.